territory. That's knocked down there. It's intercepted by Mosley. He's going to score, Jim. Well, Moore's going to try to get him. Moore trying to get the angle on him. And he's in. Touchdown. Oh, he's right. That hurts. The Dolphins with an absolutely miserable night on a national stage. Their unlikely three game winning streak over. With Jay Cutler injured, Matt Moore with a chance to shine, but he laid an egg instead. The Finns completely overmatched against the Ravens defense. Let's begin our Finns on four coverage with sports anchor Jim Barry. Jim. Guys, it certainly was hard to watch, wasn't it? It went from ugly to embarrassing. Dolphins get bullied and then come unglued in a 40 to nothing loss. Matt Moore's first start of the year becomes a total nightmare. Meantime, Baltimore's Joe Flacco threads the needle early to Jeremy Macklin, 34 yards, pinpoint pass. 7 nothing Ravens at this point. Let's fast forward now. Second quarter, things turn ugly. Here's Flacco scrambling, trying to get a first down. He slides at the last minute. Kiko Alonso clocks him good. Alonso gets flagged, and the Ravens get enraged. Flacco knocked out of the game. And then you see Alonso arguing with John Harbaugh, the coach of the Ravens, and Flacco doesn't know where he is. Baltimore leads 20 zip at halftime. Early fourth quarter, it really gets bad for the Dolphins as Matt Moore throws a pick six. CJ mostly taking it 63 yards the other way. 40 to nothing. That was the score, and it could have been worse than that. Worst beating any NFL team has absorbed since 2014. And it certainly was ugly for the Miami Dolphins tonight. Adam Gay seeing his team fall to four and three. Let's go now to Baltimore and Kim Bocamp is standing by live. Bo, you saw this beatdown firsthand. Once again, the Dolphins manhandled by the Ravens. Well, they just got taken to the woodshed in this one, Jim. There's no other way to put it. You look at the Dolphins, they, they lost in every aspect of the game. Offense, defense, special teams, uh, anyway, about it. two defensive touchdowns in this game. And this was a Baltimore Raven football team that wasn't very good at stopping the run. Uh, and, uh, and the Dolphins couldn't get anywhere. J.J. had nowhere to run. He was in the backfield, got caught in the backfield. The majority of the time, he was handed the football. And when they tried to throw the football early on, uh, Matt Moore just couldn't get a connection. He wasn't on target. He was getting the ball out quickly, uh, but just couldn't hit any Buddy, and it just looked like a malaise out there, this football team. They looked like a tired football team off of a short week. And, Jim, how they bounce back from this one, at least I've got 10 days to do it before the Oakland Raiders come to Hard Rock Stadium a week from Sunday. Uh, but this one's going to be a tough one to get over. You aren't kidding about that, Bo. And it had such a promising start. Jay Ajay ripping off that 21 yard run. And then after that, 13 carries, just 23 yards after that, the running game went absolutely nowhere, Kim. Well, Jim, you know, the, the offensive line re really couldn't get anything going. And, uh, you know, through the, the earlier in the season, you could rely on that defense to, to keep you in the game. But quite frankly, the defensive line got pushed around all day long by the Baltimore Ravens and really didn't do much defensively to stop this football team. This is a football team going into this game, talking about the Baltimore Ravens, who was trying to figure out how to get their offense going, struggling to score points, struggling to continue to keep drives going. And they certainly had absolutely no problem doing that today against the Dolphins. And I guarantee in that locker room there's a, a lot of confused, frustrated, angry, anything you want to say, guys. Uh, but they can be that way. So they're the ones that got themselves into this situation. They need to find a way to get themselves out. Really the only glimmer or the only thing you can hang on to with this football team is that losing this game, they're still at 4-3. and three. They're still above 500. Uh, but that's really about all you can hang your hat on right now. All right. And that's even tough to think about right now. All right, Kim. Thanks a lot. We'll check back with you later. And so the Dolphins' roller coaster of the season continues. You really never know what you're going to get with the Dolphins, but you know, this is the third game. They haven't scored a point in the first half, and it's hard to keep winning that way when you're always playing from behind. It's crazy. It was only a couple days ago we were talking about the spark that Matt Moore brought off the bench right. when he had to come in for the injured Jay Cutler. No spark tonight. No, it wasn't. Different situation against a different team. And, uh, you know, when you're coming in, I think sometimes behind, you know you have to throw. That sometimes it's easier when you're the relief guy. But one thing that somebody said, when you're the backup, sometimes the thing that you benefit from the least is overexposure. Huh. Because yeah. other folks can figure, out, figure you out, have time to see what you do and what you can't do. And the Ravens obviously figured it out tonight. All right.